everyone, it's Kathy today, and I'm going to show you how to create a stitch file using a shape file in Silhouette. I love stitching of all kinds on layouts, whether it be machine or hand stitching, and Doodlebug shapes are so cute, I wanted to be able to create some stitch files using them. I started with the shell file from Anchors Away, and I'm going to create a file using the text to path function in Silhouette of this little shell. So I'm going to I ungroup these pieces and I'm going to move this over onto my mat. You want to make sure that you size the file to the size you want before you do the text to path. The reason being is we're using uh, the punctuation period mark to create stitch holes around here and if you make it bigger or smaller after you've done the uh, text to path you're going to change the size of the stitch holes. So I'm going to start with my big file here. I made it the size I want. I'm going to choose Times New Roman and I'm going to choose the point size to be 36. That gives a good size stitching hole without being too big or too small. So I'll start by creating a line of periods. I'm going to put spaces in between them because you don't want your stitch holes to be too close together. Uh, the paper in between might rip if they are. So I'm going to just create a whole long line. It doesn't matter that it went down. To get me started. Now you want the green box to be around your text. If it isn't, just double click because what we're looking for is this circle with the arrows in it. What you're going to do is you're going to take your cursor and click and you're going to drag the text or the period, line of periods over to the edge of the file. And you can see because of the text to path tool, the periods automatically started forming to the shape. Because this is a compound path shape, which means that it's considered one large shape, the periods are also filling in the center lines, which we'll address at the end. So I'm going to continue around. And hit a space and go and complete the punctuation all the way around my shape. Okay, so I'm more or less all the way around the shape, and if I click outside the shape, you can see that not all of the stitch holes are going to be where I want them. You want to make sure that you have stitch holes on anything like a corner or an indent. Um, and also, I don't want multiple, I don't want a 3D shape in here or a 2D, sorry. I want just one line that I'm going to stitch, so I need to fix that as well. So there is a little extra work involved in getting it just perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything here, right mouse click, and say ungroup. What this does is it makes each period a separate little shape that can be moved around on its own. This will allow me to delete ones I don't want and move things around so that the stitch, when the, when the file is stitched, it will look normal. I'm going to start by making sure that the stitch holes are on the corners. So I'm going to move that one over there. There it goes. Make sure this is on the corner. What you want to do when you're moving them is make sure the little, oops, you don't want to move the big shape. If you do move the big shape and it confuses you um, as to where the dots go, you can always hit undo. Undo is everybody's friend. So I'm going to click on this shape and I have my finger so I can move that over. This one. I want to make sure that's in the crook here, all the way around. I have two here that I don't need two of, so I'm going to just select one of them and delete. This one, I want to move so it's down. Same here. Sometimes it helps, oops, I moved it again, undo. Sometimes it helps if you make the file on the screen larger. It's a little less difficult to try to get the individual piece. I don't need 
these two so close. Move that one down. Actually, I can just delete that one. Move this one down a little. Okay, so none of the ones on the outside are too close. I have stitching holes in the gullies and on the corners. So when I stitch, it won't, if I just went from here to here, it wouldn't look a good shape. Now I want to deal with the inside pieces here. I just want one strip that I'm going to stitch down. So the way I'm going to do this is to take a few of the periods and I'm going to move them into the gully here. And then I'll delete the ones that I don't want. Just take like every other one or so and move it into the center. And then here. And then what you can do is just delete all the other ones. Oops, sometimes when you do that again, undo. This is why it is easier. The bigger you make them, the easier it is to click on exactly what you're looking for. This doesn't change the size of your cut file. It's just it changes what you see, it makes things easier to access. When you're manipulating files, I find that this is much easier to make things bigger so you know you're getting exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to quickly do the other ones. Where these are just straight lines, you don't need so many detail stitching holes. It's a little tedious, but when you see the end result, it's a lot of fun. And lastly, whoop, undo. Want to make sure you have the little hand there. Sometimes the ones it's easier to get them if you get them close to the edge. Go through and delete all the holes I don't want. Now I'm going to go back to normal size so you can see and take a look. Everything seems to be where I want it. Now, you don't want to leave the main shape in there because it will, when you send it to Silhouette, it will also cut. If you wanted to leave it there, you can change the line color of the main shape and then cut by line color just so you can see it. Or if you just want to delete this whole thing right here, take it out, then you want to select everything here, right mouse click and group. So now, you have a file that you can send to your cutter and it will cut out all these holes and you can create a pretty shell stitch file. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get some use out of it. I'd love to see what you do. Um, you can post links in the comments. That would be fine. I'd love to go see. And that's it. Thank you so much.